Good morning to you once again. You are looking live over the downtown area, upper 70s, and the good news, the silver lining temperatures, they're really not going to budge throughout the day. They're going to stay right, <coughs> excuse me, right in that upper 70s category, and that really should help things out. Meanwhile, there is the flood watch. That is in effect until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll keep a very watchful eye on not only that, but on this. That's the tropical storm warning that we have in yellow. That's going to be in effect through Thursday morning. The red, Baton Rouge to point southward, that of course is going to be the hurricane warning. Morning. We're going to need that now that the hurricane has strengthened up a little bit. Looking at our live local radar, there's not a whole lot. We do have a rain shield that's starting to encroach on the area a little bit heavier as you get farther down to the south, right to the center of circulation, right over there in the Gulf. And it looks like it's still going to make a landfall very, very close to the Morgan City area. So when does the weather begin to deteriorate? Because we know that's definitely going to happen. And it looks like mid-morning, 10, 11 o'clock, a little bit later in the morning. And then here comes landfall early in the afternoon, maybe even going out to about 3, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe 3.30 and it looks like it's still the graph hedging its bets moving everything a little bit closer towards the New Orleans area so not so much emphasis the farther west you go of Baton Rouge it looks like it actually won't be that bad of a situation and then the system yeah it gets out of here in a very big hurry four to seven inches that's what we're expecting across a big part of the area and those amounts could go up a little bit the closer and closer you go to the coast now for the Wednesday flood threat we do have that level three moderate risk but here you can see because that whole shift We've had that shift in the track. Now Lafayette, they're totally left out of the severe weather threat. Baton Rouge goes down to a level one. That's at least a little bit better. But then as you go towards New Orleans, they're on the east side. They're on what could be the dirty side of the storm with the possibility of tornadic activity. 90 miles per hour right now still makes it a category one, but could briefly become a category two right before making landfall. Zooming in a little bit more closely. Again, it looks like landfall will be close to the Morgan City area, and then it passes, it looks like, just off to the east of Baton Rouge. So it's definitely going to be a close one. Five to ten foot storm surge, that is definitely going to be possible. And here's some of the timing here on the European model, which shows it making the landfall right around three, maybe four o'clock, and then going right through, passing through in between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Here's a look at the graph model, as I said. Graph model is a little bit farther to the east. We'll continue to keep an eye on that. That's a look at the details here. We'll have more throughout the show. Now Johnny has a look at traffic. Going out toward the port, uh, uh, port